Hello and happy weekend. It is your weekend challenge. Uh, you will see on the board I have uh, prepared myself today. I've drawn a chessboard. Very nice, very simple diagram chessboard. If I asked you how many squares were on this chessboard, whilst I'm talking you could be counting that there are eight across the top, eight down the side, which means eight times eight is 64. However, the challenge I'm going to set for you this weekend is to find out exactly how many squares there are on this chessboard. Because all you've done so far is focus on the smallest little squares. What you need to consider is that there are different types of squares on this chessboard. For example, we have squares that measure two squares, two little squares by two. Which means if we can have two squares by two squares, we can of course also have squares that measure three by three. Okay? The biggest square that you can have, of course, the entire board. That is one big square. So you're already looking at it, you'll be thinking there's a lot of squares on that board. A lot more than you thought at the beginning. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to consider all the different little types of squares you can find. And then you have to work out for each one how many different squares of that size can you get on that board. They don't all have to be on there at the same time. So just think about how many different places you could find each of those size squares. All right. So think your smallest square is your little one by one and your biggest square is the full board which is eight by eight. So obviously everything in between will exist on that board, two by two, three by three, all the way up to eight by eight. Okay, so there's your challenge. We will give you a solution tomorrow afternoon, so Sunday afternoon. So you've got plenty of time to think about it. Maybe you will draw it out. Maybe you'll draw out different size squares. But just remember, each size square needs to be considered, okay, for you to get a final, final answer. Now, there is a bonus part to today's challenge. If you're thinking you are very clever, is to find a pattern, okay? Because not only will you consider all the different size squares on that chessboard, and how many of each one there are. But then I want you to consider the fact that there is a pattern in those individual numbers. So as well as finding me the total, can you find the pattern in the totals for each different size of square? Okay, so there's a bit of an extension for you uh, for this weekend. So good luck with that, happy drawing, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.